The main complaint people have about EU4 isn't the broken AI or overpriced DLCs, it's the chaos. My name is Laith, and I'm about to change your life. Today, I cut through the anarchy with my new invention, the line. In this playthrough, I can only expand in a line, meaning that my nation can only ever be one tile thick. So if you hate board gore and things that aren't lines, I can offer a one-time deal of decent-ish content in return for you subscribing right now. See, the Platinate kind of starts as a line already, so... <laughs> I mean, that works for me. Also, I'm only ever allowed to ally countries that are also a line. So this technically counts as a line. That's a vertical one. There's another line. Um, Mecklenburg. There are some good line ones here, you know? <laughs> In fact, most of the countries in the HRE are actually lines. This isn't, this doesn't count. Ah, see, now these guys are free cities, which means if I attack them, the emperor gets involved. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to go around them, but in a line. For God's sake, I've already screwed it up. I'm not even on pause yet. Ordinarily, I'd delete these forts, but um, I think being a line, we should probably keep them. Does mean we, you know, go into debt early in the game, but uh, you know, it's standard at this point. Very happy that they haven't got any other allies. Oh, you got another ally. Uh, okay. Right, we are sort of heavily outnumbered, but when am I not? Really, when I'm playing this game? That is not what usually happens. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Made this war from difficult to rather easy. Oh, yeah, that, that'll do it. That, that's not good. That is bad. That is, that is... Okay, let's leave. Where the hell did you get that many troops from? Right, so things haven't been going so great, but we've got a little bit of luck in the fact that they are trying to siege down a province that they cannot siege. The game's just punishing me because I said it was easy at the start. Right, so uh, I had to take a, a brief pause from the uh, from the recording because the police knocked on my door and asked if I'd seen anyone set fire to a bin recently. But now bin arson has been dealt with, I guess I can continue some E4. Right, I almost took both provinces there, but that would sort of defeat the uh, the purpose of the challenge, wouldn't it? It's sort of limited as to where I can go. I can't expand into Trier because that's linking two of my provinces. I can't go down. Again, linking two of my provinces. Uh, yeah, the only real option is to keep on going. Well, here we go. The Emperor inherited Burgundy. Does that mean that Better against France? Is that- Yep, okay, so they're attacking Austria in the French conquest of Oxeroy. Okay. <laughs> that thing's just got a little bit messier in Europe. Nuremberg wants an alliance. They're a free city. Screw it, why not? <laughs> a line it can be a dot. I mean, you've seen Morse code. Wait, no, that, that that definitely shows the difference between lines and dots. Oh no! <laughs> Austria kept their union, meaning that this may lead toward France. It's, I don't know, I think the ship might have sailed. Right, so once again, I think I'm gonna be outnumbered, but uh, for the line! Doesn't look like Austria's gonna lose to France. I suppose it's it's for conquest, it's not... Oh, it is it's now the succession war, which means France is probably gonna take Burgundy. No, they didn't, they just took land. We love this AI strategy of uh, sitting on a fort that they can't hope to take whilst I take the rest of the land. It's much appreciated. Yeah, I've, I've managed to take two capital forts and a capital province fort thing in the time it's taken you guys to take it to minus 28%. So. The AI isn't broken, guys. The AI is, is, is fine. <laughs> yeah, I'd plan to chill off this war, but um, there's no way you could ever turn up. France not joining war, Siena not joining war, and Etz communicated ruler. Oh no! I'm not at 100% fleet maintenance? Oh. oh, good catch game. Thanks for that. Oh, a lot more men than I have. Okay, right, let's uh... I'm never gonna get into the uh, the positive in this campaign. Alright, I should have a military tech advantage. I do not, so I am a liar. Nuremberg? Ah, oh, we're saved. Guaranteed victory. Really? We're not gonna win that? Why is there no stack wipe? There we go. <laughs> it's because Nuremberg was here that I was able to get the stack wipe. <laughs> I don't really think that I'm willing to go and siege down. You know, everyone and their mother here. Because after all, I only really need uh, those two provinces. Because that's a line, technically. Ooh, that's probably better. Luxembourg, go up north. That, yeah. North is better. Right, let's do that. There is a slight coalition, though. I might just you know, ch chill for a little bit. <laughs> I knew I'd regret pillaging their capital. Oh, we're debt free! Excellent. Well, we were debt free. And right, now we need to we need to definitely chill for the next few years. <laughs> Upper alliance. Is there anyone that I could ally that's a line? Bosnia? No. Oh, no, not quite. 
Uh, they've inherited Burgundy. Oh boy, <laughs> I really wish I could ally them. Okay, so I'm gonna attack Bohemia. Now this seems like a stupid idea, and in fairness, it is. <laughs> but he has two of his allies not willing to fight, and I'm only outnumbered about, you know, two to one. So I think I'm gonna go for it. He's currently fighting in Hungary. So I'm, I'm, I'm just sort of hoping that I can nab some provinces before then, basically. Three star general. Oh, this, this is a bad idea. Right, so to take stock of this situation, um, I'm fighting an enemy that vastly outnumbers me. And the only reason he hasn't crushed me yet is because he's currently dealing with Hungary. I'm losing 10 ducats a month and I have about 7,000 men over my force limit. So if things look bad, uh, because they are. Austria declared war on Hungary, Restoration Union. Ooh, Restoration Union. Now that could be good. If they can somehow get that, I'm going to do what I think is a, is a massive brain move here. I'm going to try and take back Pest. Hope that, Hunger, hope that Austria sieges down Pest. Gets the Restoration of the Union and then declares war on Bohemia. Like further weakening them. I'm gonna do that. I need this Hungarian fort to hold out for as long as goddamn possible. I'm gonna liberate your nation and then, you know, probably sacrifice it. Oh, Poland's attacking them as well. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm literally outside of Prague. And they're like, no, the Trenson fort, it has to fall. Oh! Oh my god! It might actually work! Oh, I don't want the siege of Prague. Excellent. Right, let's see what damage we can do here. Right, I mean, I have to take this province. It's the only one I can take. So technically, I should just bounce now because there's, there's no reason for me to be here. Ooh, money. Love money. Sure, you know what? I'm just going to get out of this war. All right, excellent. We, we've taken a province off of the, uh, <laughs> the Bohemians. Liege only has Denmark, which is obviously a big ally. But if I'm only taking one province, that should be fine. So I'm going to risk it. I've been warned by Austria to not go to war with any country. I, I gave you pest. Pretty cool bastards. Catholic zealots. Outside zealots. What? Uh, oh my god, Bohemians out here doing next level plays. They managed to spawn Catholic zealots. <laughs> oh god. Hang on, so the Catholic Zealots are... What? The Hussite Zealots are... Change everything to Hussite. The Catholic Zealots are changing things to Catholic. Must be confusing to live in... Uh, <laughs> live in Bohemia. Oh, they've allied France. So I would be fighting... Jesus Christ. So if I attacked Liège, I'd be attacking Denmark, France, and Austria. Uh, you know what? Cologne does seem like a better option now that I've really thought about it. This area has defensiveness, and he only has one siege pip. I have two siege pips with no defensiveness in this area. Shall we see who's going to win? Is my money would be on the AI. Right, there are about, what, 25,000 men here? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I was waiting for Croatia to get absorbed into Hungary, but they're, they're independent now. The Austria is fully closed off from Hungary. Right, so what do you do if there are 26,000 men standing on your capital? So, uh, first things first, you peace out uh, one of them, and then you, uh, you, you peace out the second guy. Hey, Presto, there's only 15,000 men in your capital now. This is when we bring in the big dogs. It was a stack wipe, so they don't really have much to do. It doesn't matter, they're here though. Oh, one day I won't be in crippling debt. But enough about my real life. God, three years of an undergraduate degree and a master's degree, man, really. Really makes you think, doing full-time YouTube with all that. How much money do I owe the government? Oh, God. God, this is a mess, isn't it? <laughs> what a stupid idea. Just a lie. <laughs> Sounds like these, I wonder, um... With a challenge where you're only allowed to expand in a line. Why did I pick the HRE? <laughs> what a stupid... I could have picked anywhere. I could have picked, like, Russia or anything else. Or Circassia starts the line. I could have done that and sort of traced around. But no. <laughs> the Palatinate kind of looks like a line. Let me do that. What an idiot. Have you ever seen a, a really, really stupid idea? <laughs> the, what it looks like. Jesus, come on. 42% lost four times. Please! <laughs> Come on! Please! Bloody hell, finally! Okay, so I know it looks bad. That's because it is. Okay, I can't allow that to fall, so I might have to take a loss here. Alright, here we go. Let's just take the loss. Hang on. <laughs> They'll just... Alright. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. I just hit and run on the capital. <laughs> They'll, give me... They'll give me the province I want. Oh, that is amazing. I lost 5,000 troops. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, did you look at that? Tactical genius, that's what that is. <laughs> They're just trapped there. <laughs> They're actually just trapped. They don't even want military access. Like, no, this is fine. 
Oh, they just deleted their troops. Because when you're only looking for one province, those little snipes, man, you can't ignore those. If just a 28%, a 42% chance to win the capital, I'm not, I'm not. Even though it took me six tries, I'm not going to not take that. I can't pass that up. The only way I could beat Bohemia. Longer war than that, I could probably win for like six months. But the sieges would kill me. And eventually they'd beat me. There's no way I'd win that. A little hit and run like that, that's all it takes. And the line grows ever longer. All right, in fact, I'm going to grab a coffee whilst uh, Speed 5 goes. Because, uh, again, HRE. Late, you idiots. Late, never do this again. Man, everyone hates me because it's an unlawful territory thing. It takes 70 years to get rid of that. Austria, bro, why? Oh, Jesus. I feel like that one weird kid in class that everyone's just polite to because they don't want to get hurt. Man, these guys really, really don't like me. But this sort of just acts as another HRE map, I suppose. <laughs> everyone outside of this, is that's okay with me? Yeah. Fine. Bohemia's been excommunicated, you say? Well, Brandenburg, I'm afraid you're not enough of a line. And speaking of lines, excommunicated ruler is too good to pass up. Again, <laughs> outnumbered. There's a little trick here. Basically, my uh, my plan is Russian, blow it up. <laughs> and just hope. That's what's, It's costing me a lot of money to do this. I had four cannons just to speed this thing up. Come on. Come on. 78% really? Got two, he's a two siege guy. There we go. Right. Oh, this is going to be painful, I think. Got him. Right. There we go. Next four. Oh, God. I've only got 36. I should not have taken the next idea group. Nice. 82 days. There we go. Come on. Come on. You can make it. You can make it. We are outnumbered. And they do have reinforcements. Come on. Oh. Alright, we lost. That's not good. Allies? Oh, come on, Wittenberg. Get in here. <laughs> Wittenberg, do your bit. 78%. Come on. The siege was so unlucky to, for me. 92%! Right, the line grows. <laughs> I also free Glog out. They don't like me very much. They're not very grateful. I think uh, to finish off this session, we call it, this challenge, we're going <laughs> to decide it to Poland. Let's go, same strategy, boys. The only way this works is if you have defensiveness on everything. I'm up against what? 50,000 men. I think they just teched up as well, so I don't have a tech advantage either. All right, this does pose an interesting uh, thing. I'm just going to keep going. I'm actually at Warsaw. Oh, look at that. The first thing, 30 days. The issue is they're too big. I think they are sort of trapped in my country, though. So, I mean, there is merit to what I'm doing. I've run out of military power, though. Eventually, I have to defend something. Die. Where are you? Why are you? How can you retreat further into my lands? Oh, stack wipe! Where are the rest of the troops? Muscovy, you beauty! Oh my god, I can actually get them! <laughs> oh no, oh, that's that's my cannons. Oh, they're gonna die. I'm gonna get stack wiped by up. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not what I wanted. Losing 20 ducats a month. Oh, for God's sake. There's just Moldavian troops chilling here. We only have one whilst the fort is worth two. Ah, oh, well. Difficult choices, lads. We don't need men. All right, I think they'll give it to me. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. Look at the line. Better than I could have ever hoped for. I just sort of took out half of Poland. What's the aggressive expansion on that? Yeah, pretty... Pretty massive. Oh, Jesus. And there's no way I'm, like, financially recovering from this. My God. Well. I think that's what we'll call that. I think that's definitely success. Try to commit suicide via Poland and instead just extend... Extended sort of, like, just... What? A hundred percent? So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'd highly recommend checking out my Democracy 4 video, which should, you know, pop up on screen now. It's genuinely one of my favorite videos on this channel, and I'm sure you'd love it. Let me know what other video ideas you have. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.